everyone Gemini Grey Wolf here um haven't done a video in a while I've been revamping my workspace um this is basically where I do my tarot readings and a few things and I just had a little addition so I thought I'd share them with you uh, it's gonna be a brief tour but I hope you enjoy it so here we go uh this is my little spot it is in my bedroom um I have this beautiful wicker desk that I love and I just ordered that top piece from Amazon and I put it together yesterday because I just needed a little more room. As I said, it's still a work in progress. Um, I do not have a room to myself, as you may know. So just make do with the space you have. And I have a lot of little spaces in my house. So let's check this out. Um, if you come down here, unfortunately, that's where the electrical is for this area. So have to have that cord there I have this cute little basket uh, right now I'm just keeping some tarot journals in there um, ones that are for uh, you know large books oops I'm so sorry the large book ones you know everyday enchantment pocket appears and then I have a few uh, this is a little tarot book I actually got at five below I believe it is and WTF tarot which I love that book and then I also have this one, which is Decoding the Cards, which is a beautiful little workbook. So it goes through each individual card and gives you quite a few things to work on it. I've actually really enjoyed this one. It's gotten, it's helped me learn so much more. And a little basket, which I'm trying to figure out where to put that. <laughs> In this bottom one, I have candles, some supplies here, an empty book. Um, another candle, some some herbs that I work with. This is a beautiful cloth that has the uh, Celtic cross on there. So it's a great way to do that because I can never remember. A few extra bags. Nothing major in there. I have a few decks in here. Some with the bigger boxes that uh, no longer fit. Um, so I have quite a few here. The Right Away um, Radiant Wise, which was my favorite um, RWS until I got another one, which I'll show you. Uh, have a couple in here. Beloved deck is an oracle deck, which it's that little place. Hello, you can see me in my little. Um, so I work at that space with my beloved dead. That's all that's for is shadow work. Then I have this drawer, knickknacks, stuff like that. My stuff from my wax seals and pens. So exciting, I know. Over here, more junk. I have another couple tarot journals. This is one that I use for certain readings. Another book, lighter, travel altar, incense sticks, little tab things that you, uh, all my books, I have to tab them because I will not dog ear them, but I have to label them somehow. Another little journal. I got these great stickers, a whole bunch of them, which I love to put in my journals. So that was exciting. I do not have a glass top for my desk yet, which I'm going to get. So writing on it is interesting. That's why I have this tray with a nice little cloth that I got from, I believe it was Tamed Wild. So I use this. And then you come over here. I am so sorry. This is so wobbly. Of course, my salt lamp. Um, I use this. This is like the fourth one I've gotten, which is the Witch's Date Book, Llewellyn's. Um, I do love these. I didn't have one last year, and I actually kind of regretted it. So I keep everything in there. I'm doing this this year. Um, I've done it in, in past, so I thought I'd try it again. And um, I have to admit, I probably miss about 50% of the things to do. But it's a fun thing to keep track of. And then my Ritual Planner, which I love this. I did the day one. You can get it where it's um, for your week. You get your weekly read. And then you have your day. And you can either do a three-card draw or two card, uh, one-card draw. I do one-card draw for it. But it's got everything for full moons, new moons, uh, month ahead, year ahead. So I've been using that. That's like my fourth year. Love that. Then when you come up here, I have one of my little cauldrons just sitting here with a cinnamon stick and some bay leaves. Um, in here, I have incense cones. Up here, I have a little book 
The Women Who Run With Wolves. Love that book. I keep it here by my desk all the time and periodically flop through my, my pens. I love colored pens because I use them for the different suits in my tarot cards to write down. I have this little bowl. I decided to put it in this glass container for now just to get the bottoms around so it doesn't sit well, but I like that a lot. This has some um, essential oils, a little charging dish. Uh, just a few things out here, skull. Um, this is my daily read that I've been doing, which is the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. And then the Modern Witch Tarot is my week ahead. Put my coffee, water, soda, wine, whatever I'm drinking at the time I put there. Uh, some more, some more pens, a little be some pen, which is cute to sweep away energies on my desk. Some, some nice beautiful feathers. I found a few books that I have that I kind of uh, am checking out. One is The Witch's Path by Thorn Moody. I would suggest this to anybody, whether you're a newbie, whether you have been practicing for years and years and years. This is a great, great resource book, and she doesn't dumb it down, but it's, it's awesome. And then The Altar Within. I'm going to start working on this book again, which is Working on Yourself. Then when you come up to my little shelves here, these are the decks I'm working with. Um, this is... The gold foil, right away Smith. I love the looks of these. I mean, that's just look at the sparkle. It's so cool, but they're great because they're waterproof. I live near the ocean, so that would be nice. Um, shuffling them is very difficult because they are so flexible. They fly everywhere. Daily enchantment. I always, the decks I'm working with, I always have uh, some of my crystals I've charged that sit on there and charge them. My Nagachampa spray. This has become my favorite Rider Waite deck. So I got this cool case for it. I couldn't tell you where I bought this. I can't remember. Uh, let me just pull out a couple. This is very difficult to do one-handed. But it's vintage. And there's just something about this muted tea color staining that I just adore this deck. Because I have to admit, the Rider right Away Smith imagery, I can't, I don't know, something about that's hard for me to connect with. Uh, but I bought this deck and I said, yes, I can definitely deal with this one. I like this one a lot. So that's one of my favies. Then we'll go over here. And this is my Modern Witch Tarot deck in the little book. This is an oracle that I've been working on. Um, just for this month, I said, hey, I'm going to try something different. And this is a crystal Oracle and it just gives you which crystal it is and gives you a few questions and then on the back you have some nice little affirmations. So I use those once again charge it. Have some uh herbs here. Uh I can't remember. Oh, boy, I'm trying to remember. I think these are amethyst crystals, if I remember right. And you can um add your oils and make it into a roller. I just have not added the oils yet. I have some ocean water that I got from Siesta Key, which is near where I live. My little gremlin bell when I used to ride a motorcycle, but it's perfect for this little area where I don't want to make a lot of noise and drive too much attention to myself if people are in the house. So it works to clean the area. A beautiful amethyst cluster that I got. And I don't know, I found this rock eight, nine years ago, and I just fell in love with it. So I had to keep it. So let's go up here. I have my singing bowl, which I love. The oracle that I told you. I have, this is a love spell that I did for self-love, family love. This is a regular crystal bell, which works, <laughs> ah, works beautifully. Just a, a card that I got from some box that I got way back when. Another amethyst stone. My little skull. I got this from Brittany, which is a stero... Um, esoteric echoes um she makes them she makes candles i highly suggest you buy her candles because you will love them and then over here i also have a few things this is my card of the year um the star so i keep it up here as a reminder i have a few things here another oh, i can't remember what black one this is it's not mm, i'd have to think about that one. i can't remember what that one is i have a 
a little couple of spell jars. I love me a good spell jar. And a little thing I got when I was in Salem. Bewitched. Up here, I got this gorgeous stick. I don't know what to do with it yet. I don't think I'll do it as a wand. I just kind of leave it what it is. It was a driftwood from where I lived up north off of Lake Champlain. My apothecary sign. Now, these I have to be careful, but these are just a few. I have a just a few little things in here, nothing major, just some affirmation cards I got throughout my time from Mindful Souls. Um, I have a pendulum in here, and then I have my riches, my witches runes. I have my ferric runes in here. So we'll come over. Sorry that that is so bright. This is what I got uh, just today, actually, at uh, Target, of all places. So I have a candle because I love to light a candle. I do have a problem because I have a smoke detector right above there. And uh, you don't know how many times I've set that off. So I have to be very careful. So what I wanted something with rollers so I could pull this out. And then I keep some more of my decks here. So some more of my tarot decks. Um, these are the three I'm going to be working with for April. Some oracle decks and some tarot and oracle down below. Switch that up. Then I have another candle here, which is just a basic candle, um, just for atmosphere. A backflow thing, which it gets so dirty. These I love these backflows, um, but they get very, very dirty. And my kate candle. And then that's about it. Right here I have a, a charging plate. With these are my daily, some of the stuff I, you know, my stones, my necklace, and then. I have these, which are the bracelets and ring that I wear every day. I have a little thing here with all my little gems. And that's really it for this area. Down below, I have storage. So I have some more um, incenses. I have a larger cauldron. I have a mortar and pestle. Uh, so quite a few more lighters, things of that nature are in there. So this is all I'm going to do today. But I just thought I'd share this with you. It's not a very long video, but I do hope you all enjoy it. And just reminder, you don't need your own room. A lot of people don't have the space. A lot of people maybe don't live with people that they can be open about it. Find yourself a nook. I can show you that too. I have a few other things. I have a lot of travel altars, little things to keep um, that are more private if you need to. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. And until we see each other again, take care.